Sodium ion batteries that are cheaper than lithium and last for more than 50 years or over 50,000 charging cycles. If that's not game changing, I, I don't know what is. Sodium batteries, are they the future of the planet? Are they gonna displace lithium batteries? Well, a lot of people think that will happen, but some people don't. Some people are not convinced. However, recently we've seen reports of enormous investment into sodium ion batteries in both the United States and in China. In fact, sodium ion battery cells are, improvingly, are improving so rapid that people say they'll soon overtake lithium and their energy density will soon rival lithium, meaning that lithium batteries will have no real advantage. There is some other advantages to sodium batteries, particularly for energy storage. And seeing as sodium is so abundant, it's found everywhere around the world, it's cheap, well, that could be one of the key reasons why Sheng Energy in China has taken the development of sodium battery technology and applied it to battery storage in a planned 100 megawatt, 200 megawatt hour project in Hubei province. There is also a number of other enormous batteries being built around the world. In North Carolina, Natron are building a sodium iron battery factory. According to Axios, Natron Energy, a California-based energy startup that makes sodium iron batteries, will invest $1.4 billion into a manufacturing plant in Edgecombe County near Rocky Mount, North Carolina, after agreeing to a large incentives package with the state this week. Natron will bring an enormous investment into the area, and really, it will create thousands of potential jobs in that county. This battery factory will start production in 2028. Natron also has a battery factory in Michigan, and it's very attractive to investors because sodium ion battery technology boasts lower costs and much simpler and cheaper supply chains compared to lithium. The company's customers include large industrial users like data centers, oil drillers, and the North Carolina plant will be massively larger, or much bigger, I should say, than its existing Michigan factory, producing 24 gigawatts of sodium ion batteries annually compared to 600 megawatts in Michigan. Now, how is this all relevant? Well, this gigafactory will enable a 40 times scale up of Natron's current production capacity. It already has a facility supporting a thousand jobs, but times in your capacity by 40X, well, that's the next level, right? This nearly 1.2 square million foot factory at the 437 acre Kingsborough mega site will represent a total investment of 1.4 billion US dollars, as I mentioned earlier. It's estimated the project will grow North Carolina's economy though by $3.4 billion. So where are they gonna be using these batteries in, in uh, the United States? Well, Natron's batteries are currently the only UL listed sodium ion batteries on the market in America. They'll be delivered to power hungry data centers as in for mega packs for supporting solar, etc., microgrids, telecoms, and EV fast charging, among many others. In fact, guys, you can right now buy 12 volt batteries using these sodium cells. They're only about 300 US dollars. It's a really big upgrade for your EV. If your EV doesn't have a 12 volt lithium battery, go get a sodium one from these guys. I actually made a video on this, This uh, a company in the United States selling them $300. It will be on the channel. I'll put a link in the description below. But basically that is gonna mean you're gonna be, you're gonna have a much better 12 volt battery. So sodium cells are actually going into lots of different products already. Natron says that its sodium ion batteries offer a higher power density and obviously much higher power density than your existing um, absolutely garbage lead acid battery if you've got one of those in your EV. Many, many companies still use those. They offer more cycles and a domestic US supply chain, plus have unique safety characteristics over other battery technologies. One of the big advantages as well to sodium batteries is they're not really affected by the heat or the cold as much as lithium batteries are. So in cold places, sodium batteries could potentially be a better solution for electric cars and also definitely a better solution for energy storage. The company says its patented Prussian blue electrodes store and transfer sodium ions faster and with lower internal resistance than any other commercial battery on the market today. 
Its battery chemistry presents zero strain during charging and discharge. 10 times faster cycling than traditional lithium-ion batteries and 50,000 cycle life. They in fact say 50,000 plus. Obviously their batteries don't need any lithium, they don't need cobalt, they don't need nickel, they don't need aluminium, they don't need anything else. Uh, what I find insane though, is their claim of 50,000 plus cycle life. That would mean these batteries could potentially have a, a, a life cycle of more than 50 years. I can't, no, I don't think anyone knows if that's true, but if it's even, you know, halfway true, this technology is game changing, absolutely game changing. This is a company that could be worth considering investing in. Now, I haven't looked at the numbers here in terms of what they're currently, um, basically what the current investment perspective would be, but it's definitely worth having a look at this because this is a disruptive company. Sodium ion batteries are obviously gaining enormous attention for their potential alternative to lithium ion batteries. Sodium is more readily available and significantly cheaper than lithium. And when it's mass mined, as it will be soon, or you know, mass produced, the cost of sodium will continue to fall. I think lithium right now is at a record low. I don't think the price of lithium can go any lower. I think it's actually gonna probably go up over the next few years, not significantly, but it will go up. Sodium will go down. And I think that will be one of the advantages to these sodium ion batteries. The cost to manufacture sodium ion batteries should continue to decline. The energy density is said. Many experts are saying that sodium ion batteries will actually, the technology in these batteries will, will increase at a faster speed because it's still early days for sodium. There's still like those early gains. Here's an example. You know when you first go to the gym, right? You haven't been for years, you go to the gym, the first three months, you get some pretty good gains. You start to feel strong. You look at your arms, you're like, well, I'm getting, I'm getting a bit of muscle here. And then the gains start to slow down. That's kind of where sodium's at. Sodium is just going to the gym. They've just started their first few weeks at the gym. They've got some really quick, fast, easy gains that are going to happen early on. Thanks for watching.